Okay, here we go. I'm going to now go through uh, the water I'm going to eat this morning, right? And I, I did some prep prep work uh, beforehand just, just because it's, it's a lot of work, right? Uh, these are the cherries that's going in, right? Whoops, can't see them. They're cherries, right? But the cherries, I have to, because they have pits, of course, I have to cut them. So what I do is I, uh, I say, I do the last two. Say what I do. I cut down to the to the to the pit, right? Um, and then what I do is I put the last piece in my mouth. Let's get to the pit as I keep on cutting the others. So then when I'm finished with that, better watch it with the knife because as a child of a goon, the knives always cut me. I don't know why. Okay, so cherries are done. No, that's it. So I mean, my cherries are done. See, see them cherries. Cut them all up like that. They're done. I already have some blueberries that I have. I put them in this bowl here, bottom of the bowl. But excuse me, my compost here. Now what I do, what I first do, I usually do, is I cut up the apple. I cut some apple up already. And uh, cut up in small slices. I always put my apple in there. Put in there with the blueberries there. So I put the apples in there like that. Like that. And then I better turn my, uh, just in case somebody tries to call me, I better turn my thing into silent. Just in case. Um, so I put the apple, the cut up apple in there, uh, like that. I try to cut them small, but not really. Okay, I like to I have small pieces and big pieces because I got a lot of a lot of berries in there. Also, I forgot to tell you, but the cherries. I mean, I'm cutting these. It's just one apple I cut. I cut up. You see, you see, the apple goes in there. You get the blueberries in the bottom. Usually I have the powdered cinnamon, but we don't have it here. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, when I do do the, the cherries and the blueberries, what I do is I rinse them in a colander, right? But I squeeze um, a lime in there for, I don't know, disinfectant? I don't know, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. So let me put that in there too, like that. Okay, so that's done. I can add my cherries now. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, here's what I'm actually I'm going to do. Let me do the papaya. Now, let me add the cherries now. Get rid of the cherries into the thing. Boom, 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 boom. Ah. Now I got my um, kiwi, and what I do with the kiwi, I have a special way I cut it. I cut off the end here, right? And then I basically uh, uh, peel them like this with a peeler. Go to the very end like that. Ah, peel my kiwi. This this kiwi, I, 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 you know, sometimes I don't know. This kiwi, it takes, it's taking a long time to ripen. So I don't know about this kiwi. Your fruit, you should not really be raw. You know, fruit needs to be at least, a, you know, somewhat done. <laughs> somewhat fermented, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but sometimes that doesn't quite. I'm just suspect of this kiwi. I like that there's a golden kiwi. So I do it like that. And then I take and I cut the uh, end off there, like that. And then I sort of test it to see if it's done, you know, if it's good. Passable. And the other one, very taut. But I like the different, the different flavors, different tautness of it. 
I mean, each fruit has a different kind of thingy. Um, so let me do this other kiwi. I should have did this one also ahead of time. Because, uh, well, 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 this is my YouTube channel, so it don't matter. Y'all stay or not. You know, this is for this is for archival purposes. See, I do this stuff because I want people to know, like a hundred years from now, like how things were done from my perspective. Because if you wait for somebody else to do your, you know, to, to, to tell the story, then they'll, they'll, tell, they'll tell their story. They'll put their spin on it. And I can put my spin on it. But since I don't edit these things, you can best be sure that any mistakes, or so-called mistakes, any errors, any uh, going off the deep end, is totally on me. And uh, actually, what's nice about um, uh, this kind of modern world, YouTube or whatever have you, is that you can correct your stuff in the comments, you know? So if I say something wrong, like this morning, I said, well, it doesn't matter. Say something wrong, then I can correct it in the comments right away. That's why you should always look at your... Some people think that you shouldn't look at your... Um, it's sort of egotistical to look at your videos afterwards. But I always look because I'm training radio. What? I'm training radio. And then radio... Or what you learn, you gotta, this guy got to rinse my hands. Yeah, that's just that thing. Should have been closer to the thing there. So in, in radio, what you do is you have air checks. And what you should do, really, is you should uh, listen to your air checks immediately afterwards. Don't listen to it for criticism. Just let it wash over you. Because, believe it or not, uh, what will happen is unconsciously you'll make the corrections you need to make. And that's what you want to do. You want to do it unconsciously. You don't want to make a note and then to be looking for it. And then that way, if you start looking for your mistakes, well, you'll find them. Or you'll, you'll be waylaid. The process won't be the same. Right? So I, I wow, man, I got to start showing you like this. So I cut the kiwi like that. Right? And then I do and I, and that sort of just, Cut in half like that. That's what I do with the kiwi. Uh, again, that's the vitamin C. And it's it's very it's, see all this stuff is all this stuff is very liquid. And so that's why you say you're, you're eating your water. And when I found out when I started this, not started this, because I, I got it from I got it from Yacht Key. Um. We did, we did some research of in, in, in Harrison, Cape Town, and he looked, and the first thing he saw with the whole thing was that um, the cosmetic industry also says that's how you moisturize your, your body. This is water, the regular water just goes right through you. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't stay with you, you see? Oh, then, oh, hey, this is a crucial. I take the avocado right away right in the beginning. I take the avocado, and I cut my avocado open because I want to let it sweat with the salt. I'm a big avocado sweater. I should say it like that. Nice. Yes, sir. Good avocado. Um, I gotta buy some more. And I've, I've been pretty good at, at, you know, picking the avocado at the right time. Something like that. And, um, uh, I won't peel it right away. I mean, not the outside peel. Get rid of the peel. Now the seed, avocado seed, they have some drying out because what I found out that you can grate the avocado seed and that's a good thing to have into your thing. But I don't know, that's what that's about. Then I usually look at Himalayan salt and then you put in some fancy sea salt or whatever have you. It's just fly doing up here. Let me get rid of this fly just a second. Oh, anyway, but I got this uh, garlic salt. Right. The only problem, not the problem, but the situation is, it says uh, ingredients: uh, sea salt, garlic salt, modified cornstarch. Whoa, that's not good. Sugar, parsley flavored, blah blah blah. blah. So that but the cornstarch, because they put corn, corn derivatives in everything. So that's not a good thing. Wait, right, so then I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll put the salt on the, on the inside of the avocado to, to let it sweat. 
because I like that. I like the sweating thing. And at some particular point, I'll turn it over with the other thing. Okay, now as that's doing that, then I got this time, I got, oh, I should do this. Oof, I just, I messed up. Or maybe not. What I'll do is I'll get another bowl. I'll get this bowl here. I'll get this bowl here. Oh. Let me do this real quick. This has got to be done. I forgot I don't do this often because I usually take my thing. What I'll do is I'll take the dragon fruit. Got some dragon fruit here. Hopefully this is good. Done. It's right. Looks pretty good. Dragon fruit looks like it's done. Now there's several ways you can do this. You can just take a spoon. Yeah, come on. Hey, dragon got some some skin here that don't want to be cut. I don't use a really sharp knife because I have problems with knives. I cut myself all the time. Like I said, being a child of a goon, there's something happening there. This is my uh, plastic spoon that I usually got from Thich Nhat Hanh. Uh, um, monastery up there in New York and you just take the dread and you just go around the thing and do that way here's another way to do this and of course the dragon fruit's got nice water in it nice liquid in it I put that in there put that there but the other way you can just take one of these things here I'm not going to do it because I like to take the spoon but you take one of these um, let me call those things up you can take one of these whiskey things and, and go around like that, but I'm not going to do that because there's something else i got to clean up later. And I don't want to do that. Get in there. Hey, get in there. Get in there. Like that. So I'll still use my uh, spoon, my plastic spoon. I, I, I eat with the plastic spoon basically because I, like, I, don't, I don't like the metal. I don't like the metal. A wood would be good too. Wooden spoon is really good. So, but I figured this is a Thich Nhat Hanh spoon. Uh, peace and blessings on his eternal soul. He passed recently. Okay, now here's a trick with this. Now, after I got all the dragon fruit out, this is why I had to do it in a separate bowl. Because, look at this other, this is my figs over here. Oh, I got some figs this morning. Because what I have to do now is I take the um, purple sea moss. There you go. Purple sea moss. And I put that in with the dragon fruit and really mix it up. See purple sea moss? Now, sea moss people don't really, some, it's, it's an acquired taste. Let's put it that way. I, when I take sea moss, sometimes, I, a lot of times I take it in the morning. I just take it with my my blood pressure pill, which I'm trying to, like I do, I'm hanging with Yaki Wagen starting next month. I'm trying to get rid of my high blood pressure, or at least the medicine like that. But then what I do is I mix the sea moss in with the dragon fruit. Make it up real nice. Usually I do it in a big bowl. This is a little bowl, I don't know. That's just gonna work. But it, it liquefies. Now, you notice, you said, well, don't you got a blender, brother? Can't you just do it in a blender? Yes, I can. I could do that. But I'm not. I'm being, you know, see, I, actually, I could in, instant cape. I have a, I have blenders there too. Or at least a food processor. But some, some weird thing, I mean, I like the different textures, you know? I don't like the, I shouldn't say I don't like, but. The liquefied thing does not impress me, right? So now I'm mixing, I'm basically mushing the dragon fruit and the uh, sea moss together like that. Make sure it's all not mashed up and it's, you know, it's basically the sea moss is, is becoming the dragon fruit and the dragon fruit is becoming the sea moss. Just like when you eat, you are what you eat. So you, if you eat fruit, you know, you, you be fruity. <laughs> now my routine now that I want to start doing, I have to see what happened with the Yaki protocol when I get the three bitters. 
see what they, they, they require um, because it's a cleanse, you know. But eventually, when I get off of all that, and what I do, I do fruit in the morning. So it was midday, and I do my fruit in the midnight. Sun's out, so I'll go out and sit and eat this in the sun. It's going to be a lot. I like it. And I'll eat the whole thing. I'll eat the whole thing. Yeah. I'm greedy that way. You know, again, being a child of Ogun, Ogun would be eating. You'd be standing right there. And unless you ask Ogun for something, he ain't going to give it to you. But if you ask, you know, I'll, I'll give it to you, no problem. Hey, no, bro, you just had to ask. Okay, let me let this uh, go for a little while. Um, okay, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty mashed up. Um, what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to add some turmeric. Add some turmeric to it. Because basically, you know, I've been to India just a long time ago. This is before everybody got into this turmeric kick. A lot of the stuff that, that I do, I learned just by traveling. And, uh, you know, well, that's just by traveling. So stuff that's coming over here now, all this super brew, like, like, like moringa. Right? Well, we got moringa trees in South Africa. In fact, I'm trying to get one on the property that we have. So I mix, I'm mixing the, um, the turmeric in with this. And naturally, they, now turmeric is, turmeric can be put in anything. It's, it's like an enhancer, you know? But what they usually do, they tell you to activate the turmeric good. You take black pepper. So that's what I do. Black pepper. The peppercorn one, you know, so you should have a grinder. I guess I don't think you should do the, uh, the old irradiated. <laughs> you got to stay away from these stores, man. I think you got to stay away from these stores. Well, let me put the, um, let me put this back in the refrigerator there. The purple sea moss back in the refrigerator. Okay, so I'll let this stand for a little while. The pepper, let the pepper and the turmeric do their thing and the sea moss and the dragon fruit. I'll add that to the thing a little bit later. Okay, now. And also, this is going to be a big bowl. I might need a bigger bowl. <laughs> Avocados over here sweating. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I got papaya. So I'm going to, I already uh, took the seeds out the middle. Now, I don't think Jake is going to have some of this fruit, but I'm going to have enough just so if he wants some, he can have some. And then what you do is I... Uh, Take the skin off the papaya. Again, with the um, I think this papaya can go. Oh, hey, well, uh, with this with the peeler. And, yeah, I think the papaya. Put the papaya in the refrigerator. I think it is probably going another day. But you know what? Come on, stop making so much noise. We're out the way. Hands clumsy. So, I might just not do this whole papaya. I mean, this whole a quarter of a papaya or a third of a papaya. I might just do half of the third. A sixth of the papaya that guy was, wasn't that big. That's why I figured it was pretty good because I, I don't try to do big things, you know? And that's not really... They say the smaller things, but like I got the small bananas, but I'm not really into bananas. I use it, I use it for, <laughs> for ripening my, my avocados. I'm not really, but I got those, but I call them Guatemalan bananas because that's where I, that's where I first I ran into them in Guatemala. And I guess they were from Mexico, whatever it is. So I'm going to cut this off. Oh, man. Yeah. No, oh, okay. Feels good. Cut the papaya. Now this is a point. This is a point where you could, you should, probably use a blender or something like that. Use this other because um, it makes things a lot easier. I guess easier on the system. But um, I don't know. I like. To, I just. I just want to feel, not feel, but taste. The different textures and like I said the blender or the food processor 
you know, the, the texture is not there. It's all the same, you know, baby food kind of thing. So I, I don't know if I would really like that. So I can leave it alone. Oh, come on, papaya. Yeah, I could have got a, a more done papaya, I suppose. This is all right. I'll eat it slowly. I got the other part in the refrigerator. I'll let it stay there for a few days. Maybe it'll ripen a little bit better. I don't know. Refrigerator. The fridge doesn't uh, do the ripen right. Okay. Okay, now. So I'll chop the papaya. I think it went far enough down on the run. Chop the papaya up. Let me see if I got the rind off right. Yeah, good. The funny thing is that when I'm regular cooking, I don't really taste. I don't. You know how people stop and they taste or whatever it is. When I'm regular cooking, cooking with in a stove or oven, I don't sample. You know, but for some reason with the fruit, I will sample the fruit. That's interesting. If I, so I, I, I guess if something's happening on the way, then I'll know, I'll know ahead of time. But what I do when I'm really, when I'm cooking with, with, with gas, as they say, I just wait, for, I, I, I smell. I don't do it. I just smell. See what the smell is like. Wow. Okay. Now, this is interesting to me. I'm going to do my hands again. Wait a second. Ah. That's the way they have aprons and stuff like that. Left all my aprons in what's the name? In South Africa. Okay, so I've got enough papaya in here. But I got this other papaya. I might have to put that in another bag. Now here's the trick. I have fig that I want to put in. But I like to eat fig alone. So I'm not going to use the fig right now. Plus this thing looks very big. This oof, looks very big. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some raw organic raw honey and drizzle it over stuff that I have in there already which is basically the kiwi and the berries and the and the uh, what do you call it the cherries and the papaya now that'll give a little sweetness not a lot just enough now let that soak down for a little bit now I still got the mango that I gotta use and I got the um Oh, this is the other thing I do. I have to put, for probiotics, I use the, uh, the sauerkraut. So, this is a small one. This is the fermented sauerkraut. Wild fermented, raw, probiotic, uh, probiotic live. So you sell crap, then you don't know, you usually have natural probiotics. You know what else has natural probiotics? Is uh, again, I'm, I spend a, a lot of time in South Africa because, well, I have a wife there <laughs> and a project that I'm doing there, like that, community center kind of thing. But uh, you know, there's a tea called Robo's tea, and it's, it's, it's actually the natural process is a fermented tea. Go figure. Okay. So that's there. Now here's the problem. I got I got mango and you know something I think I'm gonna do mango later on in the day with the figs or something like that. Maybe I'll do it that way. I don't know. But I really would like my mango in here. Okay, so I got that other stuff up. I mix it up a little bit. Then I add, I will add the dragon fruit or whatever have you. Yeah, I think I'm not going to use any more. I'm not going to use any more um, papaya. But I'll just add the dragon fruit and the uh, sea moss to the mixture. Well, that's going to be something. I actually don't like to... Uh, 
I actually like to clean as I go, as they say. Oh, as I say, clean as I, as I go. So there it is. This is going to be the thing. I had other ingredients that I should have put in. The figs, man. I love, but then again, I really do like to eat figs by themselves. So maybe, maybe it turned out the way it's supposed to turn out. If I didn't have the apple, if I didn't have the apple in there, I probably would have did that. Okay, now, but hey, but I can't leave this thing. Mix that all together. I can't leave this thing without my avocado. So then I take the thing and I just peel that sucker off. Put it face down like that. And that's what it looks like. Hold on a second. Because the avocado is really... When you can just pull off like that. Pull off the um, skin. You know, the outer skin just like that. It just peels off. Then you know you done did it right. See? You done did it right. It just comes off really nice. You done did it right. All right? And I put it face down because remember, I, I, I sweated or salted on the other side. So now, I'm going to salt it on this side. Just a little bit. Yes. And that's it. Um, uh, no, no, so then what I'll do, I'll let that salt. I'll let it sweat, rather I should say. And... Then I'll just cut into the nice avocado, cut slices, you know, so it'll be easier for me. It could join its buddies that's also cut up like that. And, I, I, you know, I've, I'm, I'm having second thoughts about putting this. I got to put, nah, I don't have to put the mango in. I'll leave the mango for later. I'll treat myself to mango and see what happens. So I'll cut that up like that. Boom, and it's ready to be devoured. <laughs> so you see it's got salt in here, pepper in there, honey, a lot of cherries, uh, and all the other stuff I said I put in. I have dates here that's, that, that I didn't open yet, so maybe this afternoon I'll munch on some dates and uh, see what happens. Uh oh let me show you how it looks like now. So that's what the salad looks like you see I'm mixing it up and now I will go out into the uh, sun and uh, eat my water that's what I do I being me T from the Patterson segment trains to Tibet letting you know what I only suspect